Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to quickly share 5 tips for new players just starting out in the game. Hopefully these will guide you in the right direction and help you play a little more efficiently. Also, if you're considering playing the game or have just started, please check out my starter's guide which I will link in the description below. Alright, let's get started. Tip number 1. Attune to Aetherites When traveling around Eorzea's towns and major cities, you will notice massive blue shards of crystal and also smaller shards scattered about called Aetherite crystals. Make sure that when you see them, you right-click to attune to that Aetherite in order to unlock a new teleport. These will help you navigate major cities easily and also save a lot of time traveling around, especially for main scenario questline progression. You can also set a home point in any location for a free teleport called Return. This has a pretty short cooldown and doesn't cost any gil to use, so I would recommend setting it to your preferred major city. You can always change your preferred return location if you change your mind. Tip number 2. Hunting Logs To help you get some extra EXP to start, a hunting log is available for each base class. The log goes up to 5 ranks or level 50 and gives you the name and location of where you can find each monster. When searching for your target, you will notice a swirly icon above the monster's name if it's a part of your logs. Once you've killed the required amount, you will receive a small bonus for checking it off your list. Once you complete an entire rank, you will receive a completion bonus as well. If you need help pinpointing exact locations of monsters, I've left a link to a helpful website in the description. Also, there is something called the Challenge Log available that offers weekly bonuses when you complete dungeons, fates, and other activities in-game. So take a look and see what extra EXP you can get. Tip number 3. The Novice Questline Once you reach level 15, head to any adventurer's guild in either Limsa, Gridania, or Ulda and look for the NPC with a green sprout icon above their head. This is a novice questline available to introduce you to your DPS, tank, or healer role. The rewards for completing the questline include useful leveling gear and most importantly, a ring that grants an additional 30% combat EXP. You can use this ring until level 30 on every job. The questline is fairly short and the rewards are very worth it, so I definitely recommend completing it as soon as possible. Also, speaking of bonuses, don't forget to eat food while in dungeons or fighting monsters for an extra 3% EXP bonus. It doesn't really matter what food you use while leveling at the moment because they all offer the same EXP bonus. Tip number 4. Chocobo Companions Once you reach level 30 and have completed the quest, My Feisty Chocobo, you can use your Chocobo mount unlocked at level 20 as a fighting partner. They are cheap to summon and very helpful when doing quests. In order to summon your Chocobo to fight, you must use Giesel Greens, which you can purchase for 36 gil from various vendors located in the three major cities. You can also control your companion's stance and customize its skill tree to be either a tank, DPS, or healer. I will also include a link in the description for more information on companions as well. Tip number 5. Sanctuaries Before logging off the game, try to always keep your character in a sanctuary. Sanctuaries are located near any Aetherite in towns or by staying in a major city. The reason you want to do this is so that you are granted rested bonus EXP towards your leveling. When you are in a sanctuary, you will notice a small crescent moon symbol next to your EXP bar. Your bar will also change to a blue color to represent the amount of bonus EXP you have. Once it has been depleted, it will go back to the usual color. Well, there you have it! I hope I taught you something new about what is available in the game. If you guys have any additional tips, feel free to leave a comment to help out other new players. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to my channel. If you are new, welcome! My name is Midna, I'm a Final Fantasy XIV and variety streamer on Twitch. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash midnababy for additional Final Fantasy XIV gameplay. Thanks for watching! Thank you.